We all used to use the uh, Jubilee Studios, which at the time was underneath uh, Covent, what was then Covent Garden Market, which was very, in those days still a fruit market and vegetable market, a uh, working vegetable market from, from hundreds of years before. And there were some caverns underneath it, uh, of which one was Jubilee Studios. Dave Martin, who was famous for creating all the Pink Floyd sound system, worked down there as well. Uh, I, in fact, he worked on some of my, my amplifiers and stuff in, back in the day for an old Fox AC-15 I had, which unfortunately drowned in the Canterbury flood of 77, 78. But um, uh, yeah, the, we used to use this Jubilee Studios and it just so happened I was playing with Mother Son, we were, re we were rehearsing there and uh, I mean, we used to do the pub circuit. I was very, very young and uh, probably too young. It wouldn't happen these days, but the, um, we were arrived there to do for our start of our session in the evening, and lo and behold, who was in there? It was Hatcher in the North, and it was their, I think it was their second rehearsal, which told me later. Um, and I was actually quite aware of actually who was there, and because, you know, obviously I knew of Caravan, and I knew of Pip, and knew of... Uh, Phil's plan. So I was a slightly sort of fanish, very, very young kid. And uh, I said, oh, you're... And they, were, they seemed absolutely thrilled that I knew their music. Dave was a slightly more aloof. Uh, he was fixing his keyboard at the time. So I didn't actually... Read, but Pip, I remember Pip, Rich, and, um, and Phil especially, sort of very, very kind and sort of uh, it, it seemed thrilled that I knew who they were and, and so on. So we got struck up a conversation of which I remember F Rich saying to me, which happened years later, come down to Canterbury. So <laughs> it in fact happened in 75. But um, at that time, I say I was very young and uh, meeting them was a big, big issue for me because they, I found I, I, I had not particularly inspired the playing by, at that time, but I realised that they could do things that I couldn't on, on the instrument. That they knew things I didn't, but I wanted to at that age. So I was I would kind of wanted to pick their brains and so on, but obviously we're in a band changeover situation, so the whole thing only lasted maybe, it seems longer in, in retrospect, but it probably only lasted maybe a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes I was talking to, and Pitt was especially nice. Um, Phil was very nice, interested, that I, I was interested in his guitars, and you know, Rich was there being Richard, and you know, extremely friendly. I said, Dave was underneath his keyboard, so I, I only met him like years later. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was the first meeting, and I had quite an effect on me as a young man, you know, to meet the real thing as I saw it. And it was entirely true because that band is still a benchmark, basically, to everything that's come since. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in fact, before and since, it is the benchmark to me, there's no doubt about it. Phil's p playing and writing being a huge part of that. And so, you know, that's, it was big big thing for me to meet them, yeah.